So to save signatures, you need to come to identities. It's still under settings. And uh, we create, you can edit that, double click on it. And then you put in your name, let's say it's, uh, it's comfort. You have your email address and then organization. Let's just say BC and uh reply to if someone replies to the email i want them to go to the you can leave it blank uh, they will definitely reply back to your email address but sometimes just like filling it and then we set it as default this is what we'll use every time we try to create a new uh, email and then we have our signature all right so let's say best regards Vince Comfort, and if you have a logo, you can click uh, a logo or a promotional image, a promotional banner that you want to add to your signature. You click on that, and that will turn. Oops, that is going to remove stuff. So let's first save this, and then we can come to this option which gives us now uh, more formatting options and um, we can add an image below so you just click on the image let's say it was a logo um, you can browse and then let's say let's look for my let's look for my logo here um, Okay, so you just drag and drop it. Then you select it to get the link. And then uh, you can set uh, a custom size, but let's just leave it like that. And then we click on OK. So there it is. Uh, you can adjust the size, make it smaller. So this, I don't like the extra spaces here so before importing this i could first uh, crop it out make it the right size and then import it but otherwise that's just how the process is and then you go ahead and save so once that's done let's try to compose an email here so here uh, you can see your signature came up but the problem is the logo we added is not here all right so that is because um, our email is set to uh, text only. So we need to go back to settings. Uh, settings, come to preferences. Under preferences, go to composing messages. So uh, remember, we have here compose HTML messages so we, it's never you need to change this to always so that uh, html tags can appear in our email address uh in our email so that is saved now when we go back to compose boom there you see it now the logo is up okay so you can put in your uh the receiver put in your subject type in your message and proceed to send so it, uh it's basically like any other email client that you use uh to attach a file just drag and drop it here or click on attach a file to open the window to to to, to add your file